A non-governmental organization, Save the Children, has called on the federal government and stakeholders to accelerate actions toward reducing and ending the under-5 mortality rate of children from vaccine-preventable diseases. The advocacy campaign and policy manager, Save the Children International, Ifat Shuku Innocent, made the call at a roundtable dialogue session with immunization stakeholders in Abuja. Innocent lamented that immunization coverage in Nigeria is below the global vaccine action plan goes, adding that only 36% of children aged 12 to 23 months received all recommended vaccines and urged all stakeholders to continue to build strong political commitment for increased immunization coverage and other primary health care interventions. The message we have is that uh, families, we have messages at different levels. For the families, they should do everything possible to present their children for immunization. And then for government, it's for them to be able to um, ensure that the funding is available, the logistics and challenges are sorted out, um, the coaching is challenges are sorted out, uh, and that the health workers are properly trained to administer all of these vaccines. Concerning the um, funding for the health system, the national health insurance system should be strengthened so that they will be able to capture the community health insurance system. That is when we can be able to see the benefit of um, um, health insurance system because money will be made available to the facilities, vastly be functional, they will be able to get everything in terms of the skills, in terms of the resources, in terms of the equipment and commodities for them to be able to function with. There must be sustainable funding for research and development. You know, so we need much more research, we need much create enabling environment for the pharmaceutical companies to begin to do this. We have more than 100 pharmaceutical companies in Nigeria. Vaccination itself, once a child is vaccinated, the child has a a better opportunity to survive in terms of especially against the agents that has been the child has been immunized against them so it's very important that we get it right in terms of funding vaccination and this is very very critical because we need to make sure that we ring fence the money for vaccination because it saves lives you know and one of the things we need to do is to make sure that whatever we budget for vaccination is released